Hello everyone. Today I want to try an experiment with Orville Redenbacher's popcorn. This is the regular popcorn you use in a popcorn maker. And what I'm going to try to do is see if they grow into microgreens. So I measured out a cup. Actually, I measured out a third of a cup. I measured out a third of a cup of the popcorn. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this the same way I grow my sunflower microgreens and that is I'm going to pour it into the water and let it soak overnight and then we will see if we see some sprouts coming even if we don't I'm going to plant them and give them a chance to grow okay these popcorn kernels have been soaking for 24 hours and now they are ready to be planted I am using an organic soil mix and I pour it into a tray and then pat down the soil so that there is an even surface for the seeds. Next, I spray the soil with a good amount of water to saturate the soil. You can't overwater the seeds at this point, so go ahead and give the soil a good soaking. I have here two 10 by 10 trays. The top tray has holes for drainage, and the bottom tray acts as a catch tray for the water to drain into. You can see I oversaturated the soil with a good soaking, so the excess water is dripping down into the bottom tray. Now I'm ready to plant the seeds. I drained the water out of the jar, and now I'm spreading the seeds out as evenly as I can. Once the seeds are spread out evenly, I give them another good spritz of water. I also make sure to label all my trays so I know what I planted, and also the date I planted it. I use a black Sharpie marker and blue painter's tape. The painter's tape is great because it is not too sticky and removes easily without leaving a residue. The Sharpie marker is waterproof so the ink doesn't smudge once it's dry. Now I'm covering the tray to keep the light out and also to put some weight on the seeds. I'm using a couple of empty trays to cover the seeds since the trays nest into the seed tray easily. And then I will put this away and wait for the seeds to germinate. So the big question is, will they sprout? Okay, today is day two, and I'm curious to see if the Orville Redenbacher popcorn kernels sprouted. And here is the reveal. Oh wow, it looks like they have started to sprout. They still feel wet. I gave them a good watering on day one, You'll notice I didn't cover the seeds with soil, I just covered them with a lid. This is the same way I grow sunflower seeds. This way the microgreens don't get soil on them as they're growing, and it keeps everything cleaner without soil on top. Okay, today is day three, and let's have a look at the popcorn. And wow, you can see the sprouts are really growing quickly. Now today is day four and I've been keeping these covered. You can see the sprouts are still growing. So I think we can safely say at this point that Orville Redenbacher popcorn does sprout. All right, now we are at day five and let's have a look. You can see at the edges of the tray, the sprouts are turning green. That's because some light probably leaked under the cover of the tray and they got exposed to some light. But the rest of the sprouts are still yellow since they have not been exposed to light yet. Okay, today is day six and I have left the popcorn sprouts uncovered. You can see the sprouts are still growing. The outer edges have leaves and are greener since they were exposed to light first. Okay, now it's day seven and the popcorn microgreens can really be harvested at this point. You can see that they're growing nicely, but not all of the kernels sprouted. You can see quite a bit of the kernels there at the bottom, and it doesn't look like there's any growth coming from them. Okay, it is now eight days later, and we are ready to harvest. Not all of the kernels sprouted, as you can see, which is why the growth looks so sparse. I'm not sure Orville Redenbacher is the best brand to use for growing microgreens. Actually, I don't think they are. They pop really nicely in the popcorn popper, Nearly every kernel pops, but not so with growing microgreens. By the way, these are not on my favorite list of microgreens to eat. I find them to be too grassy tasting and they have a funny aftertaste. Anyway, that's how I feel. 
I grew these just as an experiment to see if they would grow and also to see how they would taste. I can tell you I'm not a fan. Sunflowers are still my favorite microgreen. After that comes broccoli. These microgreens would not even rate on my list. That was an interesting experiment. It's fun looking around to see what I might try to grow or sprout with what I have on hand in my food pantry. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please comment below if you have any suggestions or experiences you would like to share. And please subscribe if you like my videos. I appreciate the support. Thank you for watching. Bye.